In this tutorial, we are going to solve uh, this question, which is saying treat a cell in a human as a sphere of radius 1.0 micrometers, but A. Determine the volume of a cell, but B. Estimate the volume of your body, but C. Estimate the number of cells in your body. So what is happening there is uh, we have been told that we are supposed to treat the cell in uh, in a human as a sphere so basically we are just finding the volume of the sphere okay so to find the volume of the sphere is given by the formula v is equal to 4 over 3 by r to the power 3 meaning this expression is going to give us the volume of the sphere meaning we that is how we can determine the volume of what a cell so we're going to say that vc to to, to simplify what what the volume of what the cell so it's going to be equal to 4 over 3 times pi then times so now we have got the radius which is 1.0 micrometers now we first we are supposed to change this one into meters because the answer for volume is we are supposed to get cubic meter okay so to change that one using dimension analysis we are going to say that 1.0 micrometer times we're going to set the units in such a way that they should cancel one another so we're going to say that in one meter how many micrometers do we have we have got 10 to the power 6 micrometer so as we can see the micrometer and micrometer will cancel so if we do there we are going to find that the radius is going to be equal to 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 6 meters then we're going to put it there to say we have one point we have 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 6, everything raised to the power 3. So now let's get the calculator. So we have got 1.0 exponent negative 6. We raise to the power 3. Then times uh, the pi. And then times also the one which is 4 divided by 3 okay so the answer I'm getting is the volume of the cell is equal to 4.18879 cubic meter so you can just say that the volume of the cell since this one the radius which have been given it is in two significant figures then we can also leave our answer in two significant figures or we can just say it is 4.19 times 10 it is times 10 here is supposed to be times 10 raised to the power negative 18 okay raised to the power negative 18 cubic meter now we are going to put our answer this answer here Okay, so we have found the volume of the cell, which is 4.19 times 10 raised to the power negative 18 cubic meter. Then now, part B. Part B is saying we are supposed to estimate the volume of your body. So what we are going to say here is we are going to, to assume to say the radius. Let's just estimate that the radius of the human body is going to be equal to what let's just say 0 0.2 meters then let's say that maybe the height is going to be 1.6 meters okay so now we know that the volume of a human body now is going to be equal to we are not treating it as a sphere but we're just treating it is more like a cylinder so it's going to be pi r squared times h okay that is going to give us the volume of the body so we're going to say that the VB, which is the volume of the body, is going to be pi. Then the radius we have agreed that we have just it's just to estimate we can you can put any number. So it's going to be 0 0.2 raised to the power 2 times the height we have estimated that is 1.6. Okay. So we're going to have 0 0.2 squared times 1.6 and then times the pi. Okay. So I'm getting the volume of the body as 0 0.201 times, or it's just like that. And then if you want, you can say it's, it's going, but you can just say that is going to give us cubic meter. So you can just say that the volume 
of the body, putting it in the same as those significant figures, we're going to see that it's 0 0.2, 0, time, uh, it has got no any exponents, so we have got a cubic meter. So that is what we have. So we can put it there. <laughs> that is part B. So we have the volume of the body as 0 0.20 cubic meter. Okay. So now part C. Part C is asking us to say, estimate the number of cells in your human body. So it's more like we have the human body. Let's assume that this is human body. Now inside there we have got the cells. Okay. So each cell inside the human body, we're assuming that each cell, so each cell here has got the volume which is 4.19 times 10 to the power negative 18. Now to find the number of, it's more like we have the volume of the entire body which is what 0 0.2 now each cell has got the volume of 4.19 times 10 to the power negative 18 cubic meter so to find the number of cells meaning that we are supposed just to say the number of cells is going to be given by we are supposed to get the volume of the body divided by what in the volume of the cell so we're going to say that the number of uh, the number of cells is going to be given by the number of uh, the volume of the body is 0 0.2 0 cubic meter then divided by the volume of the cell which is 4.19 times 10 to the power negative 18 also cubic meter so we're going to discover that the units and units the cubic meter and cubic meter will go so we're going to have the number of cells is going to be given by 0 0.2 to 0 divided by 4.19 exponent negative 18 okay so this is giving me 4.77 times 10 raised to the power 16 cells meaning that if we are to estimate the number of cells in our uh, in your human body as we can see it's going to be 4.4.77 times 10 to the power 16 cells. Okay, so this is what we need to understand.